Hey, it's me, Candace, and I want to talk about a, a topic that I posted on Facebook about why have you not run for office yet? Are you thinking about running for office, but you're not sure if this is your time? And I asked for reasons that have hesitated to run for office. Time, is this a good time to run for office? I'm really busy, I got a lot going on at work. Money. I don't know how much money it's gonna take. Do I have enough money? I don't like to uh, solicit donations from other people. Skeleton. I'm concerned about what may come out if I run for office. Now, I wanted to share with with you my story about why I decided to run for office, uh, and some of those barriers will be covered. One, I I really didn't know how to run for office, and I didn't grow up in the world of politics. My parents probably didn't vote until 2008. I didn't vote until 2008. Um, we just weren't engaged as voters at a young age and a place in the, and where we grew up is just wasn't, that just wasn't the main concern. So for people who have not voted and if that's your thing, start voting and then you can run for office. But don't ever let someone tell you that because you have not voted long enough, you don't deserve representation in office. My background is I work in human resources, so I see a lot of uh, pay inequality issues when it comes to women and I've seen on the back end how that can affect women, so I decided I need to be in on the policy side of things to ensure uh, women have received equal pay. Time, May of 2016 is when I ran for city council. At the time, I had an 18 month old, and when my husband and I talked about it, um, do I really have time for this? Besides the optics of being a, a young elected official, a person of color, woman, Concerned how that was going to look. How would voters look at me knowing that I had an 18 month old? Would they say, hey, she needs to be at home with her 18 month old. She needs to spend more time with her young family. The reason I just had to get over that is, am I really going to wait till she's 18 years old to run for office? She'll be 18 months and now she's three. Then she'll be five. Then she'll be 10. Am I really going to wait? One of the primary reasons that I ran is I want to make my daughter proud. I want her to see more women in office. And if I use the crutch of me being a mom, me um how would she see that 18 years from now knowing that she was the reason i didn't run run when i really wanted to asking for money so money is uh, a big important piece of politics when i hear people say i don't wanna you know i don't know how much money it's gonna take or i don't like to raise money you one you have to get over that and then two um you'll be surprised where People will come out of nowhere and they decide that they want to support you. People are looking to support financially good candidates in office. So do you know everything you need to know about the office before you run for office? The answer is no. You don't need to know everything about the office and it's an unrealistic expectation. What I would encourage is um, before I ran for office, um, I watched city council meetings. So I knew the members of the city council. I knew how they voted. I know what issues were important to the community. Before I ran for office, I was in a training program. Actually, I was in a whole lot of training programs before I ran for office. I know what I need is to feel confident to run. So I was in several training programs and through those programs, I met really good people. One of those people became my campaign treasurer. Unless you're planning to run tomorrow, you can start right now and start to research the office and talk to some of the people that currently occupy the office. If you're thinking about a city, get involved with the board or a commission. I support a candidate that's running for office. That's one of the first ways I got involved is I supported other candidates in their races. So I got to see firsthand some of the questions that come up and how to handle a candidate forum, some of the ways you're supposed to spend money, how to block walk, those help other candidates that are already in office. And that certainly helps to give you an idea of, is this something I really want to do? But I encourage people to get more involved in local elections. I think the turnout is closer to 4%. But I'm, I'm putting these series of videos out to get the word out about getting more involved in, in your government because this is your government. You pay taxes. If you pay taxes, you deserve representation. And if you don't see that representation, then that representation is you. This is Candace Quarles. March 2018 is coming up. November 2018 is coming up. May 2018 is coming up. So subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more information about um, the videos that I do. Uh, if you have topics or suggestions you would like to see, certainly put those things in the comments and understand that uh, I'm here to be a resource to you. It's your government, so you need to get involved. Thank you.